hey guys welcome back to hackies on tutorial so in this video we will be discussing about burp suit so we'll be discussing about the burp suit proxy tab and already i've uh, uploaded a video on burp suit introduction and the configuration and if you haven't seen those videos and you are new to this burp suit you can uh, watch that video i'll give the link in the description box and you know uh, everything about configuration you can straight away uh, watch this video and continue uh, from this okay so first uh, let's discuss about uh, the proxy tab so there are uh, four options in inside that proxy tab the first one is intercept and the second one is http history and the third one is web socket history and the fourth one is options there are certain options that are available uh, inside your uh, proxy tab so let's discuss this about the, these things in detail so first uh, let come to the let's come to the intercept uh, option so here you can see that there are uh, certain things that is forward drop intercept off uh, intercept is off and action so there is uh, these are all the things available uh, inside that intercept tab so let's uh, see what is uh, what exactly that intercept is so this tab uh, displays all the http request that, that has been intercepted by uh, by us uh, with this proxy with this burp proxy and here here you can uh, understand the website functionality in detail and within this um, intercept tab uh, you can modify the request like uh, parameters and then uh, you can customize um, those requests okay so that's all uh, you can do with um, intercept and this is the main uh, part of the burp suit we can call this proxy as a heart of burp suit without this we can't do anything with the burp suit this is plays a main role um, so let me uh, show you an example okay so first uh, let me uh, let's open the kali website itself so here i have uh, started my uh, burp suit so i have configured everything and i have captured i have intercepted the request and here you can see that uh, certain things have been uh, we have got certain things and this is the functionality exact functionality of the website now okay we have intercepted the request uh, before it is moving on to the web server moving to the web server we have intercepted the request and uh, we are seeing it and here uh, we can do any changes uh, let me uh, do an example of hide our text and let me try to uh, forward it this is where uh, this forward helps you and if you click on drop this re this particular re request won't reach the web server it will drop within your browser itself okay so you'll be uh, most probably if you uh, click on drop you will be getting an error here uh, like this so if you don't need uh, that particular request that you have modified um, if you don't want to uh, reach that request to the web server then you can drop it uh, otherwise you can um, forward that particular request directly to the to your web server sorry to their web server so here uh, I'm going to configure like hide a text and let me forward this request to the Kali Linux website and let's wait let's see what particular what what is happening so how uh, Kali Linux website is yes uh, most probably there won't be any change uh, because this is not a vulnerable web page so I'm just showing you an example so like this uh, you can use this intercept tab you can uh, intercept whatever you want Be, uh, make sure that you have turn on this uh, particular option before um, capturing the request once you turned on uh, just refresh that page uh, which you want to capture and it will be captured inside your intercept tab and after that you can um, make any changes and you can uh, forward it uh, to the web server or you can drop the request and here you can see that this is a raw request and uh, here you can see the parameter value and uh, it will show only the parameter value uh, wh whether it is a get parameter or uh, like post uh, anything okay so and here uh, you will be uh, getting the header values um, 
and the last final one is uh, those values as a hex file hex value okay here you can see uh, those same values as a hex file he sorry hex values and this is what uh, the intercept tab is all about and the next tab is http history so here you can see all the request uh, that has that has been passed through your um, burp proxy this is future will helps you to review the request history so sometimes uh, you'll be um, you'll be working on lots of tabs uh, lots of uh, tabs so at that time it will be this uh, particular http history tab will be helpful for you to review the content that you have uh, passed on that you have moved, moved from so let's take an example that i have i've been testing this google.com and uh, now uh, i i've came to gstatic so uh, i need to um, see what happened in between uh, i'll be i may be came across with lots of websites so at that time uh, we can use this uh, particular http history uh, tab to review what are all the websites that have we have came across and what request have been passed and what response that we have got we can watch everything inside this and you can even uh, watch the raw request parameter and the header values and the finally the hex values so this is what uh, the HTTP history uh, tab will do and here on the top you can see that there is a filter so here you can uh, sh uh, show you can uh, do whatever you want you can filter uh, your result so once uh, if you have added some target low so let me take an example that I have, uh, have been added Kali next to the Kali dot training to the ad scope like I have uh, added this to the scope and now if you want to if you don't want the rest of the websites to be shown then you can turn off those so here uh, there is an option for that that is uh, show only in scope item so that uh, it will this will show only the uh, item that you have added to the scope so this will be uh, helpful for you like if you uh, if generally burp proxy will move on to uh, all the requests that have been passed through your uh, browser so you will be getting lots of items so it will be it might be confusing while doing a testing so at that time uh, if you add that particular website to a scope and uh, you you made a filter then it will be easy for you to uh, test that particular website and same uh, we, here we can do that uh, we can um, filter it with show in scope items so then you can see only the Kali dot training results so the uh, rest of the results won't be shown here so this is a uh, very well um, planned uh, like it, it will be very helpful for you while doing testings so next uh, the websocket history and there is nothing much about this uh, this is a generally uh, captures the websocket messages so once if there is a websocket message then it this particular tab will capture those things so and the final thing is um, is all about the options that are available uh, inside this proxy tab so generally uh, the first uh, option that is available is the proxy listener so here you can configure uh, listeners for your uh, burp in the, in the first uh, first time when you are configuring itself you'll be using this and uh, if you want to add uh, more uh, listeners then you can click on add and you can add whatever you want okay uh, so that next one is here you can see that uh, import or uh, exports uh, CA certificate and you can regenerate a CA certificate this is this won't be much helpful for you um, in my thought and generally it won't help you uh, like okay uh, so then intercept the second one is the uh, intercept client request so what intercept client request means this tab will uh, help you to help burp to understand whether the particular message should be intercepted or not so if it is uh, checked uh, like if it if this particular is are checked then the following rules will be applied and uh, you can uh, you can also place your individual rule here 
so if you inter if you turned off this uh, then particular uh, then burp suit won't follow these rules and if you check this uh, then burp suit will follow these rules uh, that you have configured so these rules were been um, previously configured and you can add your own rule that you want to um, add so that's why uh, that's what uh, this particular will do and here you can see that there is an automatic uh, automatic update and content length of the header so what this uh, if you should check um, this okay so you, you shouldn't uh, remove this because uh, if uh, sometimes you might uh, edit some parameter so at that time there will be a change in the content length so if you didn't updated those content length that parameter content length then you can uh, then it will uh, ends up in error so to avoid that uh, you have to check this box so this will automatically update the content length uh, whenever you edited uh, some certain parameters so the next one is uh, new lines at the end of the request so what this particular um, option is for means uh, uh, if you edit a request that is not having a blank line in the header burp will automatically add this otherwise uh, it won't okay so this is what uh, that option is for and here uh, this intercept websocket message is for this is used to control uh, which message should be intercepted whether uh, the client to server message should be intercepted or um, the server to client message should be intercepted and here in in our case in our case uh, we should intercept both of those uh, so it by default itself it will be um, in it will be checked and uh, you don't make any changes okay on these things uh, if you want to uh, intercept only the client to server message then you can check this and uh, you can uncheck this and if you want to do both those both of the things uh, then you need to uh, check both of these things but by default uh, it will be checked and it's up to you and the next one is uh, response modification and uh, here you can uh, by the by the default itself it, it is a setting where you can uh, do certain modifications like as you want if you want uh, to do uh, these following modifications then you can do this and uh, the final one is the match and replace this setting is used to automatically replace the parts of the request and response passing through the proxy so there are uh, certain things that have been uh, previously added to this and if you want you can add your own um, so if you don't want uh, you can leave it as it is and if you want to add any of these uh, you if you want to check any of these boxes then you can read the uh, title and you can understand so that's all guys uh, they, this this won't uh, this will be if you want to do uh, some manual attacks then you can use these options so that's all for today uh, we'll see you in the next video our next video will be on intruder tab and hope you all understand this video and if you have any suggestions on this video you can uh, drop in the comment box and if you want any video you can uh, also ask us through comment box or you can directly contact us and if you have any doubts please um, do contact us and clarify your doubts and soon we are going to launch a blog page and wait for wait for that moment and we'll announce um, about that uh, soon once it is ready uh, we'll announce about that so thanks for watching guys hope you all understand have a nice day thank you for watching Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.